What up, it's your boy DJ Mustard, and right now, we are behind the beats with hip hop since 1987. Yup! Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987.com. All right, now it's your boy E Money chilling with the homie DJ Mustard. Yes, sir. Now you just announced something big the other day. Yeah, you about yeah, to yeah. drop that debut album, Ten yeah, Summers. Nigga, Ten Summers. Hey, you know first I mean? explain it. Explain the title to me. Ten Summers is just a promise to the streets that I, I plan on keeping. You know what I'm saying? Basically, meaning that I'm gonna have a rap game for no less than Ten Summers. You know what, right. what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. basically, I'm just putting a large stamp and a large piece of work on my back while I carry this motherfucker around. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Now. Who can we expect to see on that project? Give us a few names. Uh, shit, we got Ty Dolla Signs, of course, YGs, the Nipsey's, the RJs, uh, Ross, Two Chains, Dom Kennedy, me. You know, whoever. Like, you never know, man. Expect the okay. unexpected from my album. It's gonna be a classic album, though. Okay. Now, do you have a release date for the project? This yet? summer, for sure. This Definitely summer. This summer. I got a release date, but I just can't say it because I don't know if it's gonna be. I know it's in that in the summertime, but for sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now you've cooked up plenty of yeah. hits, plenty of hits over time. I gotta ask, what do you attribute your success to? Shit, I just man, I be I be posting, man. I don't really like. I, I be that. chilling, man. I got a son, so I really be trying to stay focused and really just be on my grown man and trying to teach him how to be a man type shit, you know okay, what I mean? Okay, okay. Yeah. Now break down for us, how'd you start making beats? I started making beats because YG didn't really have no beats. That's the real reason, so <laughs> I was DJing before that and uh, it just became, became a hobby and you know what I'm saying, once you start getting paid for that shit, it's like, yeah. oh shit, alright. It's just yeah, real yeah, the more yeah, you yeah. start, you know what I'm saying, like when you start playing basketball, you don't play for the money at the beginning, you play yeah. for just the fundamentals in the, in the sports of basketball and then you start practicing, you, you go to the league, you like, yeah. shit. I'm in the league. I'm, I'm oh, going to play. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's the same shit. Now you dunking on that. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, that's you know good shit. Mean? That's good yeah. shit. Now, how do you go to the point where you're building with YG, but then yeah. you get that Rack City record with Tiger? I mean, shit, you got, that was big for the culture. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It was big for just music in general because it brought back like 90s BPM. So it really wasn't nothing. It's just like when I do music with YG, it's a difference than when I do it with Tiger. Okay. You know what I'm saying? YG music is a little more gangster street. Tiger's more, you know what I'm saying, different than, than that. Yeah, it's yeah. Kid, so like Kid Ink is more like a different crowd, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's like, there's no hoes bars with YG, you know what okay. I'm saying? So when I work with other people, it's just a different vibe I get from different people and shit. Now, but when you did the Rack City record, were yeah. you already established? Hell no. Nah. Okay, we, so we, how, yeah. we was We was just coming up on some mixtape shit, me and YG, and when, when I did that for, like, for Tiger, that's what put me on. That's what Put yeah. niggas to make them start coming to me. It was really up to me to keep the ball going and keep going put more banging shit, you know what I'm saying, to come out after that. Cause okay. you know, niggas get songs, and it's over after that, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna touch on that a little later. I wanna ask, let's get right into the beat yeah. shit. What do you use to make your beats? Uh, I use everything, nigga. MPC, 2500, Reasons is my main shit. Fruity Loops, uh, my uh, Logic. I use whatever, like, I'm just trying to, right now, I'm really trying to focus on trying to get out the same shit. Yeah. You know, everybody's using the same shit now, so you gotta really reinvent. So like, when I came with my nigga, it was like a whole new thing, a whole new sound for yeah. me, you know what I'm saying? So really just trying to reinvent myself, keep keep it fresh. Okay. Now, what's your favorite V, what's some of your favorite VSTs? I always like to say for our viewers, uh, VST. VSTs is what kick the sound out. Yeah, this, yeah, I yeah. fuck with, see, Reasons didn't never have VSTs. They don't, they you got can't its use own it. Sound, they yeah. got its own sound, but when I went to, uh, when I went to Fruity Loops, I started seeing like Nexus, Gladiator, yeah. shit like that. Uh, what else is it? Trillion, shit, those shit. Contact, shits. the computer. Yeah, Contact. Complete, I, got, yeah. I just got all that shit recently, but okay. I don't even know how to use that shit. So okay, yeah. I ain't even got there. You know? So you just fuck with the stock sounds? Yeah, I'm fucking reason. with whatever it sound good. Okay, yeah. all right. That's the, Now, walk us through your process. Where does DJ Mustard like to start and where you usually like to finish? I just start with like a simple set sound and go up from my snaps to my 808s. You know, I don't use a lot of sounds like that. I keep my shit simple. And I just, once I feel like it's done, I ain't that shit like that. I send that shit off. Shit okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Now, how important do you feel like DJing was 
your back your background in DJing yeah. to your your production career because I know was, Swiss always talked about him knowing how to yeah, move the crowd. That's you know? exactly the same thing. Okay. It's like if I wouldn't wasn't a DJ, I wouldn't even knew to do '90s BPM. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To help DJ for a whole other hour of shit. Really, that was my main focus. I was DJing clubs and shit. I took like a year off because I was just DJing clubs and I was playing all down south shit and that was like 70 BPM, it wasn't no 90 BPM, it wasn't none of that shit. So when I started making beats for YG, he was already doing that type of music. I just added my own flavor to it and gave it to him and he, you know what I'm saying, he finessed his shit, like, you know what I'm saying, yeah, we all yeah. use that. And everybody that's coming to get the sound from us, we all use that and finesse in our own certain way and that shit just happened to work, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And when that shit work, it just, just all right, now as far as like getting your placement, yeah. As you're establishing yourself as DJ Mustard, yeah. now you're huge, but as you're yeah. establishing yourself, how would you get most of your placements? Was it through emails it or playing beats face-to-face? Face? Motherfucking, like, like, just really having a real relation. Like, my shit be deeper than right. It don't be like, no, no, ain't no A&Rs coming in, mm -hmm. pulling me in these sessions. Like, I don't really be with A&Rs. I don't yeah. deal with A&Rs and shit. So, like, I'm different. I was 2 chains direct, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, my, that was his DJ tech. I guess it's, it's his management now. Uh, R.I.P. That was Jeezy. Yeah. That's direct. You know what I'm saying? Black City. That was Tiger. That's direct. All yeah. these the YG's, the Ties, the Nipsey's, the shit like that. Meek. All the niggas was establishing a relationship. In the relationship. Meek and them. That's deeper than rap. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Them yeah. homies for real. Shout you know out Meek Talk running around yeah, here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. motherfucker somewhere. But all that shit is like, all my shit is like real relationship. Ain't no, no fake shit. You know what okay. What now we got a we got a question from one of our producer viewers. Yeah. They wanted to know what's a good amount of beats to send to somebody once you once you get that email. What's a good amount I used of beats to be to sending nigga 10, 20, nigga make That's sure a nigga I, pick out something. Exactly, I feel one you. One of okay. them motherfuckers is gonna okay. get picked. You send twenty beats. All right. So I used to just do that twenty a week, ten a week, but I stopped sending them because now it's just. They, 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 they leave them on computers and people just get them next week, you know, some nigga got your yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 you yeah, going yeah. through it with this nigga, it's just bullshit, you know? It's funny, we sat with Ty Dolly, he said yeah, uh, yeah. Young Chop had left one of the beats on his drums and that's yeah. how they came up with one of the drones yeah. that they were with, you know I mean? Exactly. Just going through the beats, so yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how that shit okay. be, man. Not like that, like Ty. Yeah, like, yeah, no, I'm saying, like, love, when yeah. you send beats to people, they don't think about it, like. And it's just on the like, engineer. Yeah, computer, like, yeah. It's just there, so another nigga come in and sit down, he ain't nobody just dig digging through shit. Okay. Next week, this nigga got a mustard beat and for free. You know, like, right. you know, bullshit. Now, like you said, you touched on it earlier, it was your job to keep the placements rolling. What do yeah. you have to, what advice do you have for producers who might have just got that one placement and now they're trying to get to that second or third place? Yeah, I say, nigga, you hit that ground, nigga, you better start running. Yeah. Nigga, there ain't no time for playing. I was, fo I'm focused. Like, yeah. I'm still focused to this day. Like, I don't play with this shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nigga, you playing, like, you get a hit, you think you won't get some money. Nigga, I got a lot of money, but yeah. I ain't playing. Yeah. Nigga, it ain't, it ain't no joke. Like, nigga, I, I, I got a studio on my bus, right? Right now, you know what I'm saying? I like, see, nigga, you got a studio on stage. Yeah, you up there beats, cooking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the NPC 25,000 up there. Like, yeah. all that shit is like, this life to me. Like, I feel like I, like, I don't, I don't think about the records that I got now. So when I go into the radio, they like, how does it feel to be all over the radio? I'm like, I mean, I'm thinking about what's next. Okay. I ain't, ain't never gonna be enough. You know what I mean? Okay. So that's how I be. Now let's backtrack. Yeah. A producer who has no placements. Yeah. What's the best way for that producer to get those? Get with an artist. That's what I would think it is. Because an artist in the, like. God forbid this happened that I ever, I, I, I fall off. God forbid that ever happened, but if I do, I always got YG, you know what yeah, I'm saying? And vice versa. the same thing, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he yeah, always yeah. got me, so it, it's gonna work both ways. Just like me, Dalil, just like Drake and 40, yeah, just like yeah, yeah. Snoop and Dre, it's the same yeah. shit. You gotta, you gotta stay loyal to your niggas and don't let the money change you, because that money change you, you fuck up, you, you fall off, and you don't got your homie no more, he on you off, it's over. You assed out. You know what I'm saying? It ain't worth it. All right, now what's your favorite song that you've produced? I know that's a hard ass question. Probably my nigga, because it was just so different. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like it was just some yeah. different shit, and it worked. Yeah. The niggas thought it wasn't gonna work, so that it worked, and it, and it was so different. The niggas thought it wasn't gonna work. That's why I really fucked with it, and I really like that's like my favorite shit right now. Okay, greatest risk you feel you've taken thus far? Performing in like fucking. I did Powerhouse in L.A. by myself. Last year, nigga, like, dude, that's the biggest summer jam in LA. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, it's yeah. like summer jam. It's like 107 summer jam yeah, out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, so performing that by myself was just like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's some crazy shit. Okay. Yeah. Most interesting person you've met thus far? Probably my manager, Jay Brown. You never know what's gonna, what that nigga coming with. Okay. It's always something, but it's right shit, though. It ain't like no 
a bullshit. Like, you just never know when that shit, like, for real, man. All right. All right, now I got one more question for you. You talked about Meek being on the album. Now, I know he previewed the record with him and Ty Dolla Sign. Is yeah. that going to be on his I, album? Or I think that's going on his album. But see, me and Meek okay. got records right now. Like, that's all I like, yeah, like, like Before I left for this tour, I, I was in the back studio and Meek was in the front. Okay. So I would be just, I'll drop some shit off every night. Out LA. Do some shit out LA. I yeah. drop some shit to him every night. And I had this studio for like months. You know okay. what I'm saying? So yeah. he was he was right in front. So I, every day I pull up, he's there, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah. I, I'm there, he pull up, and you know, I just go drop shit up. I drop shit, drop shit, drop shit up. So it ain't no telling, but I think that's gonna go on his album. Okay. All right, yeah. and who else can we watch out? You know, yeah, you no, doing I got some, some shit. I got some shit with Boosie coming. That's I got okay. some shit with Wayne coming. Okay. Uh, look, Ross for sure. Yeah. Uh, um, this a game of, I'm doing shit with everybody. I ain't taking my toes. I ain't playing with nigga. Yeah, I can do I gotta have this shit for the next yeah, 10 summers. That's a lot of work. Yeah, you know what yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. All right, well, is there anything you'd like to leave us with before we uh, get out of here? Just get my album when it come out. 10 summers. Nigga gonna have for the next 10 summers. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DJ Mustard. You know how to spell mustard, just put a DJ in front of that motherfucker. You know what I mean? Shit, hip hop since 1987. Right, yeah, you already know it's your boy E Money chilling yeah. with the homie My DJ nigga. Mustard. Watch out for that 10 summers. My nigga. We're signing out with hip hop since 1987.com. Get it. Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987.com.